I said, this is the Holy Bible. Right? Yes, yes, this is the Holy Bible. I said, what do you call it? Ya Sheikh, what do you call this? What would you call it? Injil, yes. That's what they said. I said, what do you call it, you Sudanese? They said, Injil. I said, right. Now I said, now what you do? Come on, come on. First book of the Bible called Genesis. Open it. So they opened. Everybody. Got it? Find chapter 19. Got it? He says, got it. I said, verse 30. Got it? He says, got it. I said, right. Read. So he reads two verses. I said, right, next one. Come, read, read. Continue. Continue. That's in jail. You're getting horrified. Wallah. It is so easy to deal with the enemy. This book here. This is the scud missile he's throwing at you, pushing it down your throat. You now reverse this, send it back to him. And I tell you, this few, I gave them few references. Genesis chapter 19, verse 30 onwards. He speaks about Lut alayhi salam and his two daughters. Night after night they seduce the father and they collect, they have sex with the father and they beget bastard children from the father, Lut alayhi salam. Astaghfirullah. Chapter 35, verse 22, was I open, see. Right. Read it. Reuben, one of the sons of Yaqub alayhi salam, he go and cohibits with his mother on the roof. Genesis, still first book, don't go far, man. Chapter 38, read. Verse 15 or so onwards. Judah, the father of the Jewish race, he goes and commits incest with his daughter-in-law by the roadside and begets bastard children from her. This is the Holy Bible. Not only that, but Allah Ta'ala himself, what he does to Ibrahim's wife, Sarah. You want me to read it? Do you want to hear what Allah does to her? Listen. This is the Holy Bible I'm reading to you. You don't know, so therefore they push it down your throat. I want to arm our people. I said, look man, once you know what this guy is offering you, you will know how to defend yourself. And that guy will run for life. He comes to your house when to talk about the Bible. He says, you know, what does the Quran say about uh, uh, the Yawm al Qiyamah? Will it be established here or somewhere in the heavens? What does your Quran say? Look, bulk of us, we know nothing. Wallah, we know nothing. One third of the Quran speaks about heaven, hell and hereafter. How many of us are equipped? Do you know what, the, what, where will this earth, the new world will be established? Where? Here or there in heaven? Where? What does the Quran say? I said, look, my brothers, don't enter into that. Admit it that I don't know. Even me. I said, look, I don't know. If you want to know, go to Sheikh bin Baz or go to my Sheikh or Imam. He will tell you, I don't know. I'm ashamed. I'm a Muslim. I don't know. But I take it.